Hi guys, I'm Pete from Don't Tell The Wife, and in this video I'm looking at the KWA M93R, or, as some people know it as, the Rafika pistol. So, first off, let's see what we get in the box. As you can see, this pistol comes in a very basic looking cardboard box. In the box, you get a little goodie bag of paperwork, and it includes a thank you note from KWA just for purchasing their products. A KWA warranty card as well, so you know you'll come for anything that breaks along with a standard instruction manual on the basics of how it works. You also get two KWA stickers. In the box you also get this small bottle of silicon oil, a hop-up adjustment key for the pistol, and a small bag of BBs. And if you're anything like me, those BBs are just going to end up in the bin. All that's left now is the pistol and the green gas magazine. The pistol comes with a full metal slide and body polymer grips making the weight just over one kilo. Not only do those polymer grips look quite slim lined for the pistol, they are actually quite good in the hand. They've got a nice bit of texture in there. Doesn't feel like the pistol's gonna move when you pull the trigger. The pistol controls are just where you expect to find them, with the slide release and mag catch both on the left hand side. You're also gonna find your safety and fire selector just above the grips, making it very easy to operate with your thumb. Pressing the mag release allows the mag to just glide out with no effort whatsoever. So mag changes on this are not going to be a problem. The pistol comes with a 32 round green gas magazine and they put some nice detail in the back of it. It does have a polymer guide and feed lips, but they have made it so you can lock it back making it a lot easier when you load it up. Just remember to release it when you finish loading or it won't feed when you come to use it. And if 32 rounds aren't enough for you, they also do a 48 round extended version with all the same features. At the front of the pistol, you have got flip down grip. If you want to use it, you have got an enlarged trigger guard, and that allows you to hook your thumb through it without getting it in the way of your trigger finger. With the gloves on, however, I did find that it was a little bit snug, but it's still quite comfortable and you can still use it. On top of the metal slide you will find some iron sights with some white markings on it and that's just to help you line up your shots easily. These are fixed however so you have no adjustments at all. At the back they have also put these nice grooves on both sides so it gives you plenty of grip for when you need to cock your pistol. Along the top you can also see they have cut away some of the slide revealing your outer barrel. Sadly they have made the outer barrel out of polymer and doesn't come with any threads in the end so you are not able to put any suppressors or trace units on this pistol. Internally you do get a stainless steel inner barrel and an adjustable hop unit. Unlike most pistols where you've got to take the slide off to adjust your hop, all you need to do is rack it back and use the adjustment key they've provided you with. The hop itself is very stiff so it is going to stay when it's set. If you want to try and turn it with your finger now, you're probably going to rip it straight off. For the chrono, I'm using 0.2 gram BB and WE two times gas. So there's not a lot of kick on this. Got a three round burst. You can really control it quite easily. If you flip between three round and semi, you trick the gun and get the water. Accuracy test, 10 shots, see what happens. So there we have it, a pistol with more controls than an M4. He's got the single the three round burst and also that his and full auto feature as well. The only drawback I can see with this pistol is that polymer outer barrel. Sadly, you cannot put anything on it, you can't put your traces or anything. That to me is just a little bit of a letdown, but the gun feels great in your hand, it shoots well, you've got a nice little kick to it, not too much, but it's still there. And when you flip it to full auto, it is really fun to shoot. As always, if you've got any questions, please leave them in the comments below. And until next time, thanks for watching.